Steve Robinson and I are talking with Douglas Holtz Eakin, president of the American Action Forum, about the latest economic numbers. And we were talking also about the some of the proposals from the presidential candidates. And when we took the break, uh, you were talking a little bit about President Trump's, former President Trump's tariff proposals. Um, he's saying that they would raise like lots of trillions of dollars. Trillions. Over and, 10. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, as I look at it, it seems to me that there are a lot of dynamic questions here. You talk about dynamic scoring and everything. And if there were tariffs that high and that broad, wouldn't there be some reaction from our trading partners that might counter some of the, uh, the, the revenue coming in? Uh, unquestionably. Um, the, the These are substantial tariffs. So if you put them in historical context, they are of the magnitude of the Smoot-Hawley tariffs to get so much attention uh, around the Great Depression. So this this is not a an in, inconsequential one-off tariff like some of the things he did with uh, China and others. Uh, this is a, a, a just an enormous shock to the, the the world economy. People, especially those heavily exposed uh, to trade with the U.S., would be deeply impacted by it. And so that that ranges from Canada and Mexico, who, by the way, we have a, a free trade agreement with. So how you s- sort of manage that relationship should be interesting. Uh, Vietnam, which has become, uh, A, both an important uh, ally in the Pacific Basin, but is also now viewed suspiciously by the Trump campaign as, as a conduit for disguised Chinese uh, exports into the United States. And so, you know, but heavily exposed um, Germany, um, you know, there are there are traditional allies, they're important trading partners, all who will be deeply affected by this. They're going to respond. There's no question. And he said it enough that if he gets elected, they're going to begin to, to get their response prepared day one. And they may even preempt, preemptively strike. Who knows? That's that's bad for the global economy. We've, we've seen that tit for tat tariff thing. It, it's, it turns out to be bad for the revenue he might be counting on if, if that's what's motivating this. Um so I, I think it's fraught with uncertainties about how it plays out. It's, it's by no means a sure winner. And just uh, in terms of who pays the tariff, I mean, there's a back and forth about that. Now, President Trump assumes that that the other countries pay the tariffs and uh, others would say that it's a tax on American consumers. Uh, the, the latter is the answer that the vast majority of serious studies arrive at um, who look at the the actual empirical evidence on U.S. tariffs historically. They, they get paid for by U.S. consumers. 